Today's the day where we're gonna organize and change our life. This video is for all of you who either know absolutely nothing about Notion or are still confused about how it works. In this video, we're gonna relearn how to use Notion to organize the hot mess that we call life. Yo, what's up friends? Welcome back to this video. If you're new here, what's up? My name's Nicole and today we're talking all about Notion. I'm super excited to say that this video is actually being sponsored by Notion, which is insane. I've been using them for so many years. You can sign up to Notion for free using the link in the description below. Let's download it, let's work through it, let's learn how to use it so that we can organize and change our life. So that this video is gonna be more organized, this is the flow of what we're gonna talk about. First of all, some Notion basics. What exactly is Notion? How do you get started? I also wanna talk about how I've personally used Notion. So I wanna share some of the favorite ways that I've used Notion in the past. Let's get started. Okay, so what is Notion? It's honestly a lot of things, but I think the word that best describes it is that it's an all-in-one workspace, a productivity tool. It's a note-taking app, it's a project management tool, it's a tracker, it's a planner, it's a database. It has so many different uses. The limit does not exist. What's great is that it's fully customizable, so you can literally build any system that you want so that it can fit your needs. Some people get so deep into it. They have K-drama trackers, movie trackers, book trackers, journals. This is my friend who's a comsci person and look at how complex his Notion looks like. <laughs> so it's literally up to you how you want to use Notion. You're in control. All right, sounds nice. I think the easiest way to show how Notion works is just to demo it for you. Let's go to my Notion. So this was my old half-baked dashboard that I used for quite a while but I never really finished setting up. And then this is my current dashboard that's currently a work in progress. Look at my fire icon, it's so cute. <laughs> if you can see, I have a dashboard for different sections of my life. I have a calendar and a life progress bar. I have a task list, pinned items, some notes. And if I scroll down here, this is where my school stuff are. But to give you guys a basic rundown of how Notion works, I'm gonna create a new page. I'm just gonna call it demo page. So everything on Notion exists as a block. If you can see, right, this is a block. So if I press enter, you can see that there are multiple blocks on this page. So there are many different kinds of blocks. There's a to-do list block, there's a bullet point block, toggle. If you want to see an entire list, you can just press the backslash. And what you can do is actually combine these blocks to build things on a page. To do, you can create a to-do list. There's a lot of things you can do with the block, like I can change the color, for example. You can even create columns, like just to show you, you know, let's say for example, I can just drag this to the right, and now you can see that I have two separate columns. Something like that. So this is a page, and I can further customize it by adding an icon, adding a cover photo, for example. Yeah. Or I can change it to whatever I want. Example, the earth. And then you can also create endless pages in Notion. So it's a page, right? So this is page number one. And then within this page, I can also create another page. You can also add breadcrumbs. Or you can go back to the page very easily. Say for example, we're here. So let's just go back here. Yeah. So page within a page within a page. You go back. <laughs> so this is all fun and cute. But the magic that Notion is capable of doing are because of its databases. So databases are a perfect way to tie all of your pages together so that you can make everything work seamlessly. I'm going to show you. So there are many different kinds of databases. There are tables, galleries, boards, calendar. And the cool thing is that each item on your database is actually its own page. I say for example, ito daba. If I open it up, you can see that it's, an, it's its own page that I can type in. So like... An example of how I use this feature is in my content planning database. So I have all of my videos listed in this database. And if I open one of them, you can see that it's its own page. So if I scroll down, ito yung parang content plan. And I also created different properties for each page to help me organize my databases. Even though this is a table, I can also create different views so that I can see it in a different way. So let's say for example, posted videos, I want it calendar format. There, and you'll, you'll, you'll be able to see na my videos are in a card format. I also have a master list database for all of my tasks. So these are all of my tasks, right? And if I open it, you can see that I created the number of properties for each task item. I have a separate Get Work Done dashboard, and you can see that there are many databases that are linked to the All Taskmaster dashboard. So say for example, if I click here, it will bring me here. 
I saw this system from Nasir, Karma Medic. I'll leave a link in the description below. But how this works is essentially, for example, I have tasks I need to do. I'll just dump it in this inbox table. Let's say for example, if I scroll down, you'll see that I have different task categories. So say for example, I have a table for overdue tasks, academic tasks, tasks related to YouTube, and so on. So let's say for example, I'm planning out my to-do list for today. So with the task that I just listed down, I can fill out the other information. Say for example, I want to edit this video today. And this task is in relation to YouTube. Once I input the context, you'll see that it disappears. Yeah, it's And if I scroll down, it's actually right here. And then when I'm complete with this task, I'll just tick the done. And it's not And if I scroll down, it's already in the completed task category. Yeah, and just to show you how powerful databases are, no? I'm able to do that because of the properties I assign for the task types and then also with filters. You might be feeling slightly overwhelmed at this point, but really, you don't need to panic because like I said, the beauty of Notion is that you're really in control over how simple or complex your system will be. But if this is something that excites you, let's talk about how you can start using Notion. So like I said, you can sign up to Notion for free using the link in the description below. They have different types of plans. They even have a free plan. But if you're like me, you can actually get the personal pro plan for free if you're a student or a teacher, as long as you sign up using your school email address. It can seem overwhelming now, but the best way to learn Notion is really to start using it. Immerse yourself, deep dive into it, learn how the blocks work. I'm not a Notion expert at all, I'm still learning it. I find it best to binge watch all the Notion content you can for a couple of hours so that you can get an idea of what's possible and get inspiration on what you want your workspaces to look like. I'll include links to some resources in the description below if ever you want to learn more about Notion. But for example, you already signed up and you just want to get started, you can actually make use of Notion's ready-made templates. So I'll create a page, templates. But the nice thing with Notion talaga is that there's a community around it. So you can also make use of someone else's template. So uh, this is a template that I found on Reddit. Ayan. Ang cute, no? It's so nice. So what I can do is just duplicate. Ayun, I duplicated their template and tada, I now have it on my own Notion space. And what I can do is that I can start customizing it. But for some ideas on how I personally use Notion, I have this thing I call my content calendar. So I got this idea from Ali Abdal, the Notion King, and it's essentially in relation to his resonance calendar. So it's just a log of the content that I've consumed that really resonated with me. I primarily use Notion for my content planning, for my YouTube, my work things, but one of my favorite features is that I'm able to make mock mini websites. So just to show you, last year I actually invited Charm from Ready to Adult PH for a live interview here on the channel. And what I did is that I listed down the key highlights from that talk into this Notion page. And this is actually functioning as its own website already. So I just shared it, I made it public. So if you go to this link, you guys will be able to access it as well. You know, tada! You can access this page as though it was its own standalone website. Another thing I made is this mini website for when brands reach out to me to partner. And I also have this page for my future desk setup. I put all of my research here, all of the items I wanted to get. It's like a mood board type so that I can imagine how they would all look like. Let me know if you guys want any more Notion videos from me. Like I said, I'm in the middle of fixing up my Notion workspace so I can probably do a more in-depth Notion tour or at least show my workflow on how I use Notion for my school, my work, my everything else. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you all in the next video. Bye-bye.